So this is your Gecko Seismic Recorder. Uh, it's got a few connectors on the back, power, comms, the 3D sensor, the 1D sensor, and the GPS connection. So on the side here is the SD card slot cover, so you quarter turn port out, and your SD card is there. So put it in with contacts facing up, and then cover it up. First thing to do is connect up the GPS aerial. So there's the aerial, get it next to a window, side and then connect it up to the gecko. Next take your sensor, whatever sensor you've got, it's a little 2Hz geophone triaxial, get the 3D sensor plug here at the top, connect it in, get your 6 pin comms cable, put that in. Now this one is a USB so we'll connect that up to the computer. So we connect our power, the 2 pin power connector to the 2 pin socket with the orange ring around it. Right there and you'll see that the gecko turns on. Then we'll connect our USB to our computer. It's running our streams program, so you download that from our website. And all we need to do is enable telemetry on the gecko. So we go into the main menu, scroll down until we get to telemetry, enter there, make sure continuous is selected. If it's not, you can press the right arrow until you get to continuous. Then start up the streams program. The streams will scan all USB ports and serial ports every 30 seconds and then once it's got a connection, it will start streaming the data across. So the channel order is east, north and up. So if I take our sensor and shake it up and down, you see most of the motion is on that vertical channel. Shake it east-west, we have our first channel and north-south. second channel, so east, north and up. So if you want to change the sample rate, then you go to the menu, sample rate, into the menu and then change it from there, you can go slower or faster. If we want to analyse this data from streams, we can click on the W for waves and it opens what's on the screen, so we can then zoom in and see that in more detail. On your Gecko's home screen, you can see the date and time, station code, which you can modify, which channels are being stored, how many GPS satellites are visible, so you want to have more than zero to make sure you've got accurate timing, the size of your memory card, and how much space is available. If you press the up arrow from this screen, you'll go to look at the signal levels. So there's a 3D peak signal and the 1D sensor connected, which is nothing connected at the moment. Um, go up again and we'll see the individual channels. So as we shape our sensor, we can see those values change in there. And if you want to have a look at it in raw digitized accounts, 0 to 8 million, plus or minus 8 million, you can shake that. Push up again, we go back to the home screen. Now from the home screen, if we press the right button, we see some information, battery voltage, CPU temperature, version of the firmware, uh, the status of its connection, the sample rate. Press right again, and we'll see what sensor it's configured for. The next screen shows latitude, longitude from the GPS and accuracy. Next screen shows a list of triggers. If we had any trigger processes set up, the next screen shows what those trigger settings are at a quick glance. And then back to the home screen.